Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you everything wrong with my 120,000 mile Volvo. Now, just this last month, or last week, well a few weeks back actually, um, the Volvo had its MOT. Fortunately, she passed, with, she passed with flying colours, but there were a few little things um, they asked me to get fixed. Um, if it's going to pass next year so uh, we're going to go through that and then we're also going to go through a couple of the other issues that I'm having with the car um, at 120,000 miles so let's get straight into it and we'll start with the advisories so it says that the brake disc is worn pitted or scored but not seriously weakened at the front um, and they are um, <laughs> these are I don't know how long these brake discs have been on, but um, they're, they're definitely not completely worn. But um, yeah, there's a few different bits, um, a, few, a little lip on there. Um, probably still another year's worth of life left in them, but um, they have to include it on the advisory so that you know. Um, next is anti-roll bar linkage, both of them at the back, so they're probably original. Um, and that's I'm not too worried about that. That's not an easy. That's not a difficult little job. Um, it's just two bolts. I'll see if we can get underneath and show you guys where that thing is. There she is, just there. Um, so it's two bolts. One out there. One at the top, with the wheel off. And that is those two done. Um, they just do have a slight bit of play in them. So like I said, they're probably the, the originals with 120,000 miles on. So. Um, They've done pretty well. They've outlasted the shock absorbers anyway. So um, that's good. And then finally on the MOT, we just had the exhaust mounting is uh, defective. Now I know about this and I'll show you. There you go, you can hear it. Um, the two central brackets have uh, sheared off, they've broken. Um, so I'm probably gonna get those welded rather than repair them. Um, a, it's cheaper and B, it's probably easier to be honest. It'd be easier just to jack the car up, weld them in. Um, I've got the stuff to do it, so um, I'll get my dad to do it. It'll be be easier. So um, yeah, those are officially everything wrong with it. Let's discuss what else. Um, there isn't that much to be honest. So um, let's get straight into it. So first thing is this door, the driver's side rear door. Um, doesn't unlock or lock on the key anymore it is um well and truly stuck uh just to prove it you see we'll press unlock and you can see it gets stuck about halfway um still doesn't unlock uh which is a bit of a faff especially if i've got the dog in the back because i've got to go all the way around to the other side um or i can only load passengers in from the passenger side so that's a little annoying um, something I've got to fix. I think all it is, um, the mechanism and everything still works on the inside. Um, and if you press the key enough times, the pin comes up and the door unlocks. So I think what it is, is probably a um, sort of stiffness issue in the locking system. So I think I'm just going to take the door panel off, um, lubricate it, um, move it up and down a few times, and that probably will sort it out. Um, I don't think it's going to be expensive re repair at all. Moving on then, um, we have an issue with the windscreen washers. Now this is something that's plagued me since the day I bought this car and three years later, um, 4,000 miles later, I still haven't got it totally fixed. Um, I've managed to fix it enough that it passes MOTs, but within a day or two again, um, it breaks. And I've just noticed the seals come off of my windscreen wiper as well so there's another thing you don't want um i'm going to fix that because otherwise you'll get issues with the with water getting in to the wiper mechanism and that would be that'd be annoying um but anyway yeah so these are these basically blocked up um no matter what i do i've, t I've removed them um i've soaked them um i've used high pressure air they don't seem to be clearing so i think i am going to have to buy some new nozzles. I've, I like to try and repair things rather than buy new ones because obviously it's better for the environment, etc., and just easier and cheaper. So um, that's something that's a little bit annoying. Finally, perhaps one of the weirdest ones 
on the whole car is that the passenger door is falling off or what the 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 door card is um i don't know if you can see it here rather large gap um, and it rubs on the dash here and squeaks um i haven't found anyone else with this issue at all um so it's just a bit of a strange build quality one but you can see here it's come away quite a bit from the you can see how much movement there is if i do it with my knee and there's no it's not like it's not clipped in it just i've just noticed over time it's come away from the door so a bit weird it's still very well fastened on there but you could look you can get get fingers in it um which is a little odd so um that again is just going to be a case of removing this panel here um removing the door card seeing what's going on there and fixing that but other than those few things the car is doing fabulously um I've got a video coming out where I tow 1600 kilos with this car and it performs brilliantly. So um, overall, really, really happy with it still. Um, probably do an oil change soon, actually. And it's also, oh, actually, there is one more, one more strange issue. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Typical diesel stuff. I think it's probably EGR valve related. You're going to have to excuse the state of this time of year. Um, lots of mud and autumn leaves where we live in the countryside um but there's definitely some sort of uh oil leak or exhaust gas leak somewhere in there because that looks to me like it is the egr valve i'm guessing it's probably started to block meaning um the exhaust gas is forcing its way out of other ways other places so um we're gonna get that sorted as well that'd be in its own video if we could do a throttle body at the same time that's obviously excellent um and we're just using a little little bit of coolant every now and then um you can see it's just above minimum there it's not anything to be really concerned about but just keeping an eye on it make sure it's not going to get any worse uh, i think because like i said i don't want to have any issues with the car if, if i do have issues i want to identify them early so um yeah that is that but uh overall car's done really well i'll do another one for the jeep video like this for the jeep and for the smart car but um we've got plenty more volvo content to come as well so uh i'll see you in the next video cheers